if an a-hole would do something like this, Nancy? I don't know, sir. Should I call the police? Hey, thanks for joining me. Uh, this is for all you Kratom users out there. There is some good news, breaking news. 45 congressmen asked the DEA to not ban Kratom next week. 45 congressmen. That's a pretty powerful message. Uh, your voices have been heard. Everybody who, who signed the petition, who called the DEA's uh, uh, special hotline that they had set up to be heard. Your congressmen have heard you. Uh, I don't think Congress is too happy uh, that they put an emergency ban on Kratom with no input from or no research input, no consumer input, nobody's input. They said there was no need for a public hearing to get public input about this ban. They just went and, and fucking did it. Uh, you know, I'm glad to see the uh, Congress stepping in. I think they should go a step further and get a committee together and uh, call some hearings with the department head of the DEA and some of his other cronies and find out what was the urgency of banning a uh, completely safe plant material, it's an herb, from Southeast Asia that's been here for centuries and all of a sudden today you need to ban this not last year the year before I'll tell you the real reason because it's getting into the pockets of the uh, I've said it in my last video it's getting in the pockets of big pharma and they want to sell their other drugs and you know it, it they, they don't want they, they don't want you to self-medicate Kratom is helping millions of people in this country. It's estimated that up to 5 million people use Kratom. Uh, some of them are doing it for their, you know, opiate addictions. Some of them are doing it to get off heroin. Some are doing it for their mood swings. They have anxiety. There, you know, there's a, a multitude of, of, of things that Kratom really does help people. And come next week, if they would ban this haphazardly with no research and or reasoning why they're gonna harm a lot of people they're gonna harm a lot of people and it's time that Congress steps in and says who the fuck are you guys to make laws Congress is the lawmakers not the DEA I, I don't understand how they can do this with no input from Congress absolutely none fuck you and your emergency fucking bans you rarely use it it's supposed to be used for a real epidemic a bad drug that you had no time to research th you throw the emergency ban on it's hardly used ever and you're gonna use it on kratom give me a fucking break there's something else behind the whole thing DEA somebody's pockets are getting lined by the big pharma or something for the DEA to run around here and start fucking banning shit just because, with no input, no hearings, if I was a congressman, I'd be fucking pissed. Because I'd be like, Mr. DEA, who the fuck do you think you are? Plain and simple. So, the breaking news is 45 congr congressmen sent a letter to the DEA asking them to delay the ban on Kratom. So far, the DEA, well, they did not receive the letter from the response th that the news got from, from the, uh, the DEA's media department. They still firmly believe, and they don't care, th they're going along with the, the ban come uh, October 1st. But with that, they have not received, at that time, the actual letter from Congress. I think once they get the letter from Congress in their hands, signed by 45 congressmen, they're going to take a step back and be like, whoa, let's, uh, you know, they're going to respect Congress. I would think they will do that. And uh, we're going to get a, a delay on this thing.
or maybe get it thrown out all together, or who, who knows. Uh, so, I just wanted to put this up here real quick. Breaking news, pass it on to your friends, but having 45 congressmen in your pocket can't hurt. So let's see what happens. Stay tuned. We'll keep you updated.